Hey and welcome to World War II Solitaire board game channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the card game The Great Escape. Uh, quite a simple game to uh, learn how to play. However, there has been some confusion going on uh, in the forums on Board Game Geek, so I thought I'd make a high definition, good audio video explaining how to play this very fun and simple game. Uh, like I said, it's a card game. We have 48 cards. We have 44 different character or a escapee cards. These are the guys which you are trying to get out of the POW camp. And then we have one spy card and we have three guard cards. So this game is played in three different stages. And every card, uh, escapee card, guard card and spy card features all of these three stages on their individual cards. The first stage is the tumbling stage. You're going to be using the middle section of your cards during this stage. This is for example a propped tunnel. This is a discovered tunnel by the guard and this is discovered by the spy. During your second stage, which is the escape stage, you're going to use the top side of the card. For example, this escape B He's heading southeast, he has wire cutters and he's learned how to speak German. This guard is discovering your escape attempt and stopping it. And this spy is giving you a negative uh, functioning with the radio in case the guards also has a radio. He's going to report you guys in. In the first, third and last stage which is the manhunt stage, you're going to use this bottom side of the card. And basically I'm going to go into detail of it, but here we have binoculars and this is going to discover all of your escapees who doesn't have a uh, disguise. Once you manage to escape with them, this medal here uh, tells you how many points you get for this escapee. So Grizzly would give you three points and the Spy would give you minus one. Okay, I'm going to go into greater detail of all the three individual stages now. So, again, the first stage is the tunneling stage. And you simply start by shuffling all of the game cards, excluding the six cards which has instructions on them, which are basically the rules. Once you've done that, you will draw the top three cards for each of the three tunnels that you're building. And your building, I believe this is Harry, this is Tom, and this is Dick. Because you're building, just like in the movie The Great Escape, you're building three different tunnels. So these are the start of your tunnels. If you are really unlucky, you might draw a guard tower or a guard or a spy as your first tunnel card and that means that your card has been discovered already uh, sorry your tunnel has been discovered already and uh, that tunnel has failed so before we go further uh, with the tunneling stage let's take a look at each individual tunnel cards there are six different tunnel cards. We have the normal tunnel. We have a propped tunnel. We have a tunnel dis discovered by a guard. We have a tunnel discovered by a spy. We have a tunnel with ventilation. And then we have a collapsed tunnel. So you need a tunnel the length of 10 cards to have that tunnel considered completed. With the normal tunnel cards, basically you just stack them after each other. However, you have to have a propped tunnel for every third tunnel card. 
And you can, if you wish, use, for example, propped cards only. And again, propped cards. That works. But since propped cards are more rare than the normal ton cards, usually it will look like this. You also have the ventilation card and every fifth tunnel card has to be the ventilation card. Again, if you wish, you can use two ventilation cards after each other. That's allowed. But you have to have every third tunnel being a propped tunnel. What you couldn't do also with these normal cards is for example create a situation where the next card would have to be either a propped or a ventilation card. So for example let's say that we have this combination right here. We have a normal, oh you can't see it, you have a normal card, you have a propped card and then you have a normal card again and a normal card. That next card would have to be a propped since every third card needs to be a propped but it would also need to be a ventilation card since every fifth card needs to be a ventilation card making this card illegal because you can't create that situation where the next card has to be both a ventilation card and a propped card. We also have these cards and they are a little bit special, collapse tunnels, because they hinder your process. And basically, let we can have this situation right here, <clears throat> where the next card has to be a prop card, but you draw one of these, and then that's legal to put over here. Again, you have to use a propped card to start building this tunnel again, because, like I said, every third card needs to be a propped card. And you could do it like that. And ignore that card that was over here because that was part of the example where, again, you can't create a situation where the next card has to be a propped card and a ventilation card. So remember that when you build on the collapsed tunnels, you have to build over them, not next to them, because that would be illegal. The guard and the spy card are quite simple. Uh, basically, they discover your tunnel, and that tunnel is now out of business. And if all of your free tunnels get discovered, the game ends and you lose. So let's go to an example play of how to make your free tunnels. Alright, so let's go ahead and start building our tunnels. So let's start over here. And we get a propped card as our first part of the tunnel. We go to our north tunnel. We get a ventilation card, that's a good start. And our east tunnel, which is a normal tunnel. So you're just gonna go ahead and keep drawing. And now I get a ventilation card. <clears throat> and I get the choice if I wanna play this card to any of these three tunnels. I have a good feeling about this west tunnel, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. The next card is a collapsed tunnel. This is one that has to be rebuilt. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the east tunnel. If you ever come into a situation where you draw a card which can't be placed, for example, that would be a normal card, you will just turn it and put it in the bottom. But let's see if we get to that. Okay, we have another propped card. I'm going to put it in my West Tunnel, another propped card, again I'm putting it in my West Tunnel, I want to get that 10 uh, card streak to move on to the next phase. Another propped card, and then we have a normal card. I can't put that over here, uh, or actually I can. But next card has to be a ventilation card, because every fifth card needs to be a ventilation card. 
So this propped card can't be played here now. I can use the propped card for my north tunnel. Then I get the ventilation card I need. So I now have seven cards here. I need um, three more to complete my tunnel. And we have a collapsed tunnel. I can't use this one on that one, only on the west or the north tunnel because you can't stack the collapsed tunnels. They can't be stacked or put next to each other. Then I have a normal tunnel. Can't use that there. Uh, gonna go ahead and rebuild my north tunnel with that card. Another collapsed tunnel. Then I have a normal tunnel. Gonna go ahead and rebuild my north tunnel with that card. Another normal tunnel. I can't put that there because I need a prop tunnel. So I'm gonna rebuild the east tunnel with that. Another normal tunnel. And this is a interesting situation because I can't use it here. I need a propped card. Every third card needs to be a propped card. Can't use it here either. Uh, and actually, I believe, yeah, that card needs to be a prop card as well. And the next one needs to be a ventilation card. And in this situation here, the next card needs to be a propped card. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one and put them in the bottom of the deck. And we have another normal card, normal tunnel, another one, another one. Another one. I might not have shuffled these <laughs> so good. So we have a guard tower. He's discovered one tunnel. We get to decide which one. I'm gonna go ahead and discover that tunnel. Another normal card, which we don't need. Another one. Finally get our propped tunnel. I'm using this to build on this tunnel. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I only need two more cards there. I'm going to go ahead and spend that there. One more card and it's a propped one. So this tunnel now consists of 10 cards. So I've successfully managed to build this tunnel. And that means I've completed the first stage of the game, the tunneling. And I now move on to the second part, which is the escape part. I'll take all of these cards uh, which have been used to build the three tunnels and I remove them from the game. And this part is quite simple. All I have to do now is draw cards until I get a guard. And the cards which I draw will be my escapees. You will draw the spy and he will not stop your escape attempt but be part of your escapee squad and turn in your friends. Oops. Okay, so we draw a guard tower. That means our escape has been uh, discovered. We remove that card from the game. These are now our escapees. And the items that we see next to their portrait or their equipment and the compass is the, uh, the way they're heading. So this starts the last part of the game, the last stage of the game, which is the manhunt. So these guys, these nine guys together with this spy has managed to escape out of the west tunnel. And now we're going to draw cards and see if they're captured. So this is the bottom part of the card, which, which, which we will use in this manhunt part. So this, uh, we ignore the portrait. He's not the guard, but the guards are looking in the east direction. So every escapee who's heading east is captured. March here is heading east, so unfortunately he's captured. Major Tom is also heading east, so both of them are captured. The next guard has binoculars and the binoculars will discover 
any uh, escapee who doesn't have a disguise and this would be the disguise so quite a lot of my guys get busted on a side note the spy can't be captured and can't be killed so we have a sniper here the sniper is pretty bad he takes out one of your of the POWs uh, of your choice so let's see who we will choose I'm gonna go ahead and remove this guy so it's not looking good because we got a dog now and the dog is uh, also capturing one uh, one POW of your choice so we're down now to two escapees the next one has a radio and the radio usually is not too bad but if you have the spy the guard with the radio will uh, be working together with the spy and capture three POWs of your choice so unfortunately for me that's the last of my escapees the guards together with the spy has managed to capture every POW that escaped uh, before we end the video let's take a look at all of the individual guard actions so first we have the compass and this one uh, is uh, pointing west you will also find compasses you know uh, pointing any direction and basically guards are being sent into that area to patrol and any other um, any escapee heading that area let's see if we've got one also heading west will be captured uh, so for example this time Mad Jack would be captured if the guard had a compass uh, pointing west then we have identity papers and identity papers uh, means that the guards check everyone's papers and any POW without those papers uh, forged identity papers will be captured we have let's see do we have one uh, escapee with yeah slim has those um, forged papers then we have border security the guards increase the border security with additional barbed wire and it will capture any escapee that doesn't have the wire cutters and the wire cutters looks like this so Hamish would be able to still escape then we have dog uh, or dogs uh, the guards release track dogs and one POW of your choice is captured then we have the binoculars and that means the guards are watching the escapees closely and any escapee without a disguise is captured the disguise are this icon here then we have a train and basically uh, this uh, will capture any uh, escapee that's escaping with a train and the way you find these guys are by finding uh, the train tickets so Curly here would be captured since he has a faked train ticket he's going on the train and he's discovered by these guards which are checking the trains these other guys don't have a train uh, tickets so they would be safe then we have the language and basically the guards will question the POWs and the ones that learned how to uh, answer correctly are safe so the ones that has the same icon remember that when the guards say good luck don't answer thank you <laughs> and then you have the sniper and the sniper works just like the dog uh, the guards have deployed snipers and one pow of your choice fails to escape last but not least you have the radio and the radio <clears throat> if you don't have the spy in your uh, among your escapees it's a good one to get for you but if you have the spy it's quite horrible because basically the guard is communicating with the spy on the radio and three uh, POWs of your choice fails to escape and then 
once you have managed to escape this little medal down here will show you how many points you get for that specific POW so say that for example you would have a jock and you would have curly and the spy your total uh, escapee score would be two uh, points and that's it guys that's it for uh, the great escape the mini card game I hope uh, I made things a little bit more clear I will do a full playthrough video where I play a few games uh, I thought it would be fun to do a full video of me playing until I get a positive score so that could take a while because this is a hard game it's a fun game but it's a hard game anyway guys thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe